Hey everybody, this is Shella from Promo STK, P R O M O S T K. Um, anytime I get a little time for relaxation, I come into my closet. So it's a little dim and it's a little dim, and I like it that way because uh, it's my exposing time. So I just want to reach out to everyone and talk about holes in your sweater holes in my sweater it's a little analogy and one day I was driving to work and I thought about this topic holes in my sweater I think we all have holes in our sweaters and those holes are the missing link the things that make us complete the things that hold us together um, I don't know why um, it happens but it does. So today I have holes in my sweater. I would like to reach out and connect to friends and family of the past because they will make those holes become mended and complete. You know, we have our lives as we're young. And then we think the people that are in our lives at that time will always stay in our lives. But that's not always what happens. And sometimes we grow apart. I don't know why we grow apart, but we do. Hello, everybody. This is your girl, Shella, at Promo STK. Uh, hit me up on YouTube, Promo STK. Uh, I have these little things that I do in my bedroom. Um, exposing this will be exposing three um, I came on today because my niece from Yana's world told me that mm, my exposings are depressing and sad and anyway I told her well she's going to be on this one because I want everybody to know what she thinks of her auntie's exposings. Miana? The, I mean, it's not bad, but it just be so depressing. Because like, she's in like a darker room. There's no lighting like that. And she just be talking like this. And it's just like this. Baby, you can't, we can't see you. And she just be talking like this. And it be depressing. And I just click off. She doesn't even watch it to the end. It's, I, I, it must be an adult thing. Um, kids these days, they don't know the meaning of a lot of things. Uh, they haven't experienced life as we have um, being adults. But... I told her I'm not in a depressing mood when I do it. It's like you go into your closet. You go into your own secret closet where you can just talk freely without interruption um, and just be yourself. And I told her one day, get back in here, Mayana. One day, she'll realize it. And one day, she'll, she'll go back and even probably listen to my talks when I'm long gone. Hmm since I'm so depressing. <laughs> anyway, I love my nieces. This is their last week with me here in Dothan, Alabama. <clears throat> I get them every summer. And uh, so I'm going to be really sad when they leave. And then I probably will post depressing stuff. But <laughs> anyway, I didn't think my talks were depressing. I thought they were, you know, a little inspirational because it's all about... They are inspirational, but you do it in a depressing manner, like talk and be, voice. Well... Like, when you're doing them, being like a good lighting, like stand up and just it presents your voice out. But this is just my time. This is my time to expose myself. And this is how I expose myself is that I'm in... A, a darker room and, but light is behind me it's just that I'm close up and I want to be close up and personal when I'm talking so that people know that 
hey, I'm talking to you, whoever that that's listening, because you never know when someone needs to hear something that you have to say or maybe an experience that you've gone through. But just to make a long story short, I want to talk about holes in your sweater and holes in my sweater. And I'm going to talk more about that um, probably a little bit later. But um, I just want to let you guys know that life is short. And we need to get more in tune with each other. Spend more time with each other. And then kind of stay off Facebook so much, you know. A lot of times, you know, people post stuff on Facebook and other social media sites. And they post them on there and they just wait. And then if no one responds to them like they want to, then it's like the whole world is ended. Well, life is too short for that. Um, if you rely on social media as your only form of contact with anybody, then that there's a problem. You know, just pick up the phone and call somebody. I mean, stop even texting. You know, just pick up the phone. Hear that person's voice. Because you never know when the, that may be the last time that you have actually had an opportunity to actually hear that person's voice. Now, I'm, they practice what you preach is what they say. And I need to practice what I preach because I don't get on the phone and call. People be on my mind and I don't pick up the phone and call at that time. You know, like I say, we all have busy lives and we all have things that we, you know, that we feel is more important that we got to do or by the time the end of the day has come you say oh maybe tomorrow i'll call tomorrow i'll call first thing in the morning well guess what here today gone tomorrow here today gone today you may not get that opportunity so i need to practice what i preach i need to practice doing what i want people to do pick up the phone and just call i mean i know we have all this modern technology and people don't use um, a lot of the old techniques and technology like we used to. But, you know, there's it, nothing wrong with hearing somebody else's voice. And being able to talk to someone, find out how they're doing. You know, it's a lot of suicidal rates. There's my Mian me over here. There's a lot of suicide rates going on. And it's like if we had just picked up the phone and called someone to ask how they're doing, find out what their day is and, you know, are they okay? Uh, do they need anything? Hey, let's meet up. Let's go to the movies. Let's hang out. Let's go out to eat. You know, get them out of the house. You know, not everyone has someone um, that they can rely on or they can uh, be in tune with. So, um, I want people to make the world a better place and if me um, getting on here and, and speaking out and talking um, gets you into a better place or gets you thinking about things that maybe you would like to do um, I'm all for it and I just hope that what I say has made a difference in you as it's making a difference in me. It's like I get a chance to expose myself um, from the inside to let people know what I'm thinking. I went to a um, um, tribute to the troops yesterday. And I'm telling you, it was awesome. You know, my husband was honored as being a veteran and uh, Ike Richardson of CI Gospel and his wife, Lorraine Richardson, um, they put the show on and it was an awesome, awesome concert. I mean, I took my girls there and they had a wonderful time. I mean, they, they loved it. I mean, we got home late, like super duper late. It was in Ozark. So we got home like about 10 something, you know, last night, but it was well worth it. Um, that sh place should have been packed. I mean, you talk about honoring our troops the past, the present, the future. Um, people um, sometimes 
forget that there are important things other than themselves. And if we take and put selves out of the way, you know, we can make life better for somebody else. Um, now, like I said, that event should have been packed. I mean, it had some, oh, they had some awesome, awesome recording artists there performing. I mean, even as far as um, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, um, we had um, LaGrange, Georgia, uh, Lewis Anderson uh, uh, on the, on the uh, spotlight artist for CI Gospel. We had Von Seal Belcher. She's a native from Ozark. She was there performing and a whole slew of other groups. I mean, it, it was just awesome. Just gospel, good gospel. Uh, music. I mean, it was a church in the house. I mean, we had church up in there. It, it was just great. I'm going to probably throw a couple clips in this video uh, just so you guys can see some of the things that um, that we were experiencing there. I mean, it was really, really, really good. Um, but I'm going to close and I want you guys to know that um, I'm here and I always leave a question. So my question to you today is, do you have holes in your sweater? Like, comment, um, let me know how you, uh, how you feel about that question and does it mean anything to you? See me on YouTube at Promo STK, that's P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. You can visit my nieces um, YouTube at Miana's World. That's M E apostrophe Y O N N A apostrophe S World. And I uh, look forward to uh, you got subscribing to our channels. Thank you. We love his wife, his wife, Sarah, family, and her church. She is a community school board. She is a talent. She is a talented woman. But right now, we're going to recognize.
We're going to go down here. And tell me they've been playing that. I don't know. Have y'all heard that? For sure. This is actually happening. I retired since then, but I was riding down the highway with a company truck, and I saw a man on the side of the road coming for a ride. But they wouldn't let me pick up nobody. Because the man don't 